So hello everybody, my name is Jamie Left, and welcome back for some more Assassin's Creed Revelations. Today we're going to be continuing the story, which I am actually extremely excited about, because so far this game has just brought back so many memories, and to see this game running so smoothly and so well, it's just fantastic. Anyway, let's get into this. Right. I can't counter, why can't I counter? There we go. So in this scenario, we need to counter because we have literally no health. Oh. So the key is just before they hit, like they're just they're coming in for a swing, that's when you press X. Oh, we need to loot the bodies. So yeah, you hover over some bodies, hold B, wait until the icons fill, and then you'll get some money. And some stuff, depending on what they have on them. So because we're very injured, we can't run very fast. But luckily not too far to go. Where are we though? That's the key question. So yeah, detection is a very key thing to to keep in mind. When the guard's meter is filling with red, he will investigate and try to break his lineups. Oh. Okay, so when it, the indicator above the guard's head is yellow, that's that they suspect something. When it starts filling up to red, they'll start to investigate. So as long as you keep it in the yellow, you'll be fine. An old timey lift. This used to be so easy. We're getting old, Ezio. loot the body. It's always good to loot bodies until you're like far in the game and it becomes pointless. But if you're low on supplies, always loot the bodies. Because even but sometimes when you actually um I think it's when you throw the knives you can actually get them back. Eagle vision. Oh it's called Eagle Sense in this game. So Eagle Sense displays enemies in red. Oh, I didn't get to read that. So red is enemy. And the yellowy stuff is the one you want. It's like the target. So we can... The red is where the enemies walk. So if I just hop into here. Enter the tent or haystack to be invisible to your enemies. Yeah, very key and memorable thing about Assassin's Creed. Haystacks. Don't underestimate them. As long as you go into them un unseen, they'll never find you. But if you are seen and you go into it, either Etsy will just jump straight back out, or they'll just come and search through the haystack. But it's very useful to take out enemies unseen. Oh dear. There's two there. See, the problem is I don't have both my blades. I can't climb anything either, no. So, I don't think I have to be stealthy. In this scenario, I can't be, because they're together. So I could take out one. Okay. Sure. Just walk away. Let's 
through here. I think this is a, a way. Oh, that's that's who we want. Can we get round here? No. So never underestimate eagle sense or vision, whatever you want to call it. In this game, it's sense. In the games I've played, it's vision. It's very useful for not only following somebody. Eagle sense allows you to track targets by displaying their route. So not only is it good for actually following somebody, it's also good for finding your objective if you don't know where it is. But most of the time, it'll be marked on the map. So now there's a bunch of people around, we can use them to my advantage. Yeah, blending. Moving the crowd groups to be invisible to your enemies. It's a very useful thing that's very easy to acquire because people are everywhere. I'm just going to let them slip past because if I kill them, the guards will get suspicious. Now remember, the yellow one is our target, red's for the enemy, so we need to be very careful. Oh dear. In situations like that, just try and kill everyone before anybody notices. So because he was just in the yellow stage, not in the red stage, the other guards had no idea that he had seen something. So as long as you kill them before they get into the red stage, they won't suspect anything. But if there is a guard nearby and they walk to the body, they'll alert the other guards. So all in all, just try and kill. If someone starts to see you and you've got no other option but to kill them, just kill them as fast as you can. A nice thing is, whilst they're still in the yellow bit, if you sprint up to them and press X, you'll get a nice animation to assassinate them. Oh. Go on, walk away. Walk away. Another mercenary, I suppose. Just about got away with that one. So there's no red around, so we should be good. Could it be that you are every bit as deadly as the legends say? Or am I in charge of an army of drunks swinging sticks? Right this way, Ezio. Nowhere left to run now! Not for me, and not for you. Kill that dog! Cut him down! Okay. Now remember, it's still a key feature. When you get to a group of enemies, you have to lock on before you can do the countering. So to lock on is LT, which actually I never knew. So that's quite interesting. But if you lock onto one of the enemies, you could quickly switch to the other enemies just by flicking the left stick. Oh, did I find some medicine? Sweet. So press RB to uh, select the medicine. Oh. You have to hold it. So hold it. Which one are we on? We're on the left one. So it shortcutted to. The shortcut is for left D pad. Ah, that does the pain. I think I triggered it by just hovering over it. Anyway, so now we can climb again, which gives us a massive advantage. So what do I have? I have... What are they? Oh, 
So you have to use the right stick to sec to select secondary weapons, left stick for primary weapons. So this is a poison dart. They're throwing knives. We want some throwing knives. There we go. That was perfect. So if we loot them, we should get our knives back. Yep, see? Oh, perfect. That was a good route, actually. Managed to avoid most of the guards. Uh-oh. Okay, so we can head left. Ah. Do I need to hold RT? Yes, I do. Oh, no, I don't. I do for when I need to jump. So if you can't move, it's most likely because you need to jump. Oh, God. Okay, so jump to this. What does it take to kill you, eh? Why will you not die? It's time for you to end. Oh. Don't you ever stop howling. already and are closing in on the rest what is in that library is not for you not for the Templars <sighs> you can have Altair's books Ezio we only want guidance we only want directions to the location of the Grand Temple <sighs> Grand Temple tell me more now Requiescat in pace bastardo Served cold. This apple. It is a remarkable piece of work. Feel the material, hard as steel, but very light. You really want to be fooling with that thing? I do. I absolutely do. I have been waiting a long time to get my hands on one of these. Okay, you're making me nervous, Phil. Don't be. I don't think I have the right genes to properly wield it. Oh, but Desmond, you think he does? Oh, back here. Snooping, wandering outside the Desmond partition. So once the Animus located you, it pulled you back here. It's just following orders. Like a... a fail-safe program. Trying to keep your poor head intact, whether you like it or not. What are you doing here exactly? Playing. Learning. Waiting. A lot of waiting. I keep the Animus distracted as best I can. For you, so you can explore. Otherwise, it might hunt you down like a little virus and, uh, delete you. 
Well, my guardian angel. There's no such thing. Yeah, I... Thanks. So... Let's head back in. Dear sister, Mazyov is overrun by a battery of Templars, and their motive is clear. They desire the secrets locked away in Altair's library. Secrets they believe will lead them to something called the Grand Temple. Whether or not this is true, I do know the library is real. I have seen its door for myself. But none can enter. Not without five keys which were sent to Constantinople with Niccolo Polo almost 300 years ago. Claudia, I must find these keys. The Templars have already located one, and they do not know how difficult it will be to find the others. Only time, skill, and a bit of luck will tell. A magnificent sight. It is a work in progress. No city in Europa has a skyline quite like this. Well, to be precise, that is Europa. That is Asia. Ah. Some borders even the Ottomans cannot move. Very few. You are Italian by the sound of it. But your outfit is not. Have you been traveling long? Si. I'm Otto Tempo. I left Rome at one of months ago, looking for... Inspiration. And that search brought me here. When I was a child, my father told me stories about the fall of Constantinople. You must mean the conquest of Constantinople. I suppose the moral of any story matches the temper of the man telling it. That we can agree on. Guzel! Constantinople is a city for all kinds and creeds. Students like me or... Uh, Travelers such as yourself. I have so much work to return to. But it is good to be home. Work? When I was your age, my interests were... Mm. mainly... Salve. Incredible. I am surprised you got anything done. As was my mother. It was a pleasure speaking with you, Bay Effendi. I hope you find something to hold your interest here. I have faith I will. Yardim a debilir me, Effendi. Grazie, dear boy. A scholar and a gentleman. You are full of surprises. <laughs> Very few, my friend. Exceed all mine. Hoş geldin kardeşim. Unless the legend is a lie, you are the man I long to meet. Renowned master and mentor. It's your auditory, the la la la. Prego. Uh, forgive me. I have a hard time remembering that Italian gibberish. Da Firenze. The city where I was born. Ah, yes. Uh, so, by your custom, I would be Yusuf Tazim da Istanbul. I like that. Istanbul. Yet another name for this city. Evet. It's a local favorite. Uh, come, mentor da Firenze. I will show you around. Okay then. A warm welcome. 
Welcome to Galata District. For centuries, it has been a home to orphans from Europa and Asia alike. You won't find more diversity anywhere else in the city. And for that reason, assassins make it their home. I would like to see where. Guessing Likle. The Brotherhood is always eager to meet the man who put the Borgias out to pasture. <laughs> oh. Does everyone in this city know I'm here already? Well, your holy land tussle with the Templar did not go unnoticed. When I first set out, violence was so far from my mind. I sought wisdom. The contents of Altair's library. <laughs> not realizing it has been sealed for three centuries? No, I assumed as much. But I never expected to find Templars guarding it. Very troubling, no? Five years ago, uh, Templar influence here was minimal. A small faction with dreams of restoring the Byzantine throne. But they're growing in number, day by day. And the Sultan bears it on his way out. They may try something dramatic. Is there no heir to the Ottoman throne? Not just one, two angry sons. It's a familiar pattern with his royals. When the Sultan calls, <laughs> the princes draw their swords. So, um, a key thing that is clearly never, never been removed. Ooh. Between the Templars and the Ottomans, you must stay busy. Ezio, I barely have time to polish my blade. Ambush. Get him! So yeah, a nice thing that hasn't been removed from the game ever, apparently, is if you walk close enough to the person you're meant to be with, it just automatically walks next to them. Brilliant. Where we go? I'm a meant. More Templars! Look sharp! I am meant to follow you. Right. No, no. Watch. Byzantium is dead! As are you! The whole city wakens to welcome you, Ezio. First the regents, now the rats. Ottoman soldiers have a special loathing for these Byzantine thugs. That gives us some breathing room. How much? Eh, just a little. They'll still kill you if you look at them wrong. But they will feel bad about it later. Touching. It's not so bad, really. For the first time in many decades, the assassins have a strong presence here. It wasn't always that way. Under the Byzantine Emperor, the assassins were hunted down and killed on the spot. Here we are. Enter the assassins HQ. Mentor! Say hello to your extended family. Salute a voi, Assassini. It is an honor to find such fast friends so far from home. You see, brothers? Our mentor is not afraid to weep openly in front of pupils. Do not worry. I will not make a habit out of it. Ezio and I were ambushed on the way here. I'd like some of you to do a sweep of the area. Hey, man! And you, Ezio. Your weapons and armor are in a pitiful state. Maybe find some money and repair what you can. There is a blacksmith nearby. He's a friend. What are you there? Upgrade and explore. Let's go and buy some new armor. Hello there. I don't have enough money. I need to steal. So yeah, just walk around town. Just walk near people and hold A and it will actually just pickpocket them. Okay, I should have enough money now. Hopefully. Hello. Armor. Oh, yes. There we go. Goodbye, sir. Last month, the governor. 
I only the highest quality guarantee. <laughs> My prices, someone should teach you a little bit. Praise the heavens! We feared we had lost our mentor to the vices of the big city. I am content with my own vices, grazie. So, what's on your mind, Ezio? Tell me more about the Templars. You call them Byzantines. The Byzantine Empire was overthrown 60 years ago. These men are remnants of a line loyal to the cause of the last Emperor, Constantine XI. Who leads them now, however? I cannot say. Capisco. I suppose it is up to me to find out. It's your... Where is your hook blade? My hook blade? You've never seen one? I grew up using these. Hmm. Show me how it works. The hook blade. Follow Yusuf to learn how to use your new hook blade. Yeah, hook blade. It's the best thing ever. It basically means you can reach further. It's incredible. Think of the hook blade as an extension of yourself, Ezio. Brilliant. I... Why didn't that work? Oh, I know why it didn't work. Hang on, I'll try that again. Oh, it's brilliant. So, you have to jump and hold B. There we go. So by holding B, you'll actually extend the blade out so you can actually grab. It, apparently. Make sure to grab these bits of animus data. You think I cannot make this one? Didn't break a sweat. <laughs> long jump. Press B in midair before performing a lamp turn to execute a long jump. That's cool. that animus data. There we go. Oops, I fell. Can't really climb back up here. There we go. Impressive move. Watch and learn, Ezio. We call this a hook and run. Sprint at your opponent, and just as you reach him, use the hook blade to slip by. Okay. Run towards an assassin and hold B to perform a hook and run. Shahane! That's cool. Very cool. Well, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching another episode of Assassin's Creed Revelations. If you liked it, hit that like button, hit that J to subscribe to my channel. And as always, I'll see you all next time.